to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Aria and today I'm going to do the most requested video. Um, it's going to be my top 10 Amazon favorites pet edition. So we're just going to jump right into it and don't worry, I'm going to leave all of my favorites to my links down below in the description. Alright, so the first category we're going to talk about is accessories. I love dog collars. I switch my dog's collars out all the time, so I'm always on the hunt for super cute ones. These ones are ones I just recently purchased, but I've had them before, and they are some super cute leather blinged out collars. I don't know the brand off the top of my head, but like I said, I will link them down below. I got one for Kenji, one for Tinley, and one for Payson. Um, they're going to look super cute in these, and don't forget, I have to get one for Lennox, right? So I got her a big mama sized one and this one is super cute. It's rose gold and it's got little rose gold spikes on it and a rose gold buckle. This one is from Bond & Co and I know they do sell this brand at Petco. Um, but I'll link that just in the description below because when I went to go find these, they were sold out. Another thing I want to mention to you guys, when um, I use my dog collar, some people's dogs are super hairless. Like Kenji, for example, has like very soft skin um, around her neck. So what I do to help is I use the safety strip. Now this is like strip that you would use to like baby proof your house, but what I do with it is I put it on the little buckle part that's gonna touch the skin, and that way it kind of creates a barrier and it's a little bit of a soft cushion and you can peel it off and replace it when it gets gross too. So that's something I highly recommend also. Um, link for that is down below. All right, now I'm gonna talk to you guys about my favorite bath time items. Um, these are three things that I love and if you guys have seen my TikTok on my Frenchie bath routine, you know that I do the most for those high maintenance dogs. Um, so the first thing I wanna talk about is dental spray. This is by the brand Pets Are Kids 2, which is super freaking cute. But essentially, it's just a um, spray that you spray in their mouth, you rub it on their teeth, um, and it actually helps kind of like you know the tropical clean that you put in the water. Um, that I don't. I just don't really like that. I feel like this is way better. I've been using this for a long time, and Kenji is 11. She's going on 11 this year. I've never had to have a dental for her. So I think this stuff is awesome. You should try that. Um, I'm sure it helps with bad breath too. Um, so yeah, that's something. Oh, and you can also use it on cats, which is pretty cool. So keep that in mind. The next thing I want to talk about is this guy. This is wrinkle paste. Um, English Bulldog, Sharpays, Frenchies, all the kind of wrinkly dogs can have yeast and bacteria build up in their wrinkles. So this helps a lot and it also helps deter tear stains. Um, this has like zinc in it. Um, what else does it have in it? Antifungal, so that kind of helps prevent that, that build up tear stains and all that bacteria. So this is something I use more often than baths. I usually do baths like one to two times a month, but this I'll use like every week. Another great product I want to talk to you guys about is this little guy. This is called Snout Soother. They also have a product called Skin Soother. This is awesome. So French Bulldogs' noses are dry. They don't stay wet like most other breeds, which means they can crack um, and they need a little bit of extra moisture. So this is so awesome. Um, the skin version of this helps with irritated skin and I've seen these two products turn around noses and skin like crazy. So I highly recommend this. If you are a Frenchie owner or an owner of a dog that gets super dry noses, you need this. You need it. All right, so moving on, we're going to move on to cleaning products. First things first are these guys right here. These poop bags are by the brand Modern Canine. Um, they do this pack, they have smaller packs, but this pack comes with two poop bag holders, which I never use because obviously I don't need tons of them. So I put them in my puppy packs for my customers, but these bags are scented and they smell so good to the point where it makes my garbage can outside smell good. Like, I'm not kidding. Like, it overpowers the scent of dog poop, but like when you open them and they're not that strong, I don't know, it's magic, go get you some. All right, another thing that's also magic is this. This is Clorox Urine Remover, and I know this sounds really gross, but this it has, it's an enzymatic cleaner. So it actually, if you spray it on blood, feces, vomit, whatever, um, it cleans so well. You spray it on and it automatically bubbles and, and the enzymes start getting in there and breaking up all that stuff. Awesome, highly recommend it. Definitely love this for the nursery. Um, another cleaner that I really love is this. This is Odoban. I also get this on Amazon, obviously. This smells like baby powder. Um, they also have a big jug that I use for 
to clean my floors. I put it in my Bissell. This smells bomb. Like it literally, when you clean with this, like your house smells good. Like I don't, I don't, there's nothing I can compare to this. Like it, it literally, I love it. And the smell stays. Like someone will walk into my house and be like, you just clean your floors, huh? And I'm like, sure did. <laughs> so these two products, if you want your house to smell like you don't have a bunch of dogs, that's what you need to get. All right, so now we're gonna move on to toys now. I know the struggle is real for people who have breeds that just destroy everything. My Frenchies on the outside do not look like they would be toy destroyers, but they are. And literally, toys last a good 30 seconds in my house. I don't know what it is about these ones, but these are from Outward Hound, and they have the tough seams, and I think there's another one called Invincibles. I don't know why, but these last a pretty long time, probably about two weeks, which is actually pretty long for my dogs. Um, and I don't know, they, they don't have stuffing in them, but they do have, you know, squeakers. I don't know what it is, but like they take a while to, to destroy these. So there's a bunch of different sizes and versions on Amazon, but I'll link their whole store down below so you guys can kind of shop through it. Love these, you have to try them. All right, moving on to bully sticks. I love bully sticks. These are amazing for puppies. Um, they're super hard. I'm not even going to explain to you what a bully stick is. I'll let you Google that. But um, we'll just go ahead and say it's a beef pizzle. <laughs> um, anyway, so these things are awesome. I really like this brand. They don't smell as bad. There are some brands that claim to be odorless, but I don't really think I've ever not smelt a bully stick that, you know what I mean? I feel like they always smell bad. The reason why I love bully sticks is they're high in protein, they're low in fat, and they last a long time. Now, Lenny cannot have these. You need to get bully sticks that are the appropriate size for your puppy. So um, these are great for the Frenchies, but Lenny will try to eat this whole entire thing in one go. She has before, and she's thrown up the whole entire thing at once. So we don't do that for her. We get the really long ones, but essentially they're super hard and they only get soft where the dog chews them. So they don't have really that in, that instinct that, oh, I need to swallow this. Like I need to gobble this up. It's a treat. They realize it's a chew. It's safer for puppies than rawhide. Rawhide is not digestible. Um, so I really recommend these if you're looking for a treat. Plus like, unlike, I do like antlers, but they can crack teeth and they're really hard. So for puppies, recommend. They love them. All right, lastly, you guys, I'm gonna reach down here and get my favorite treat, freeze-dried liver treats. Dogs will do anything for these. Like, even the most picky dogs will eat these. I don't even know a dog, I've never met a dog that doesn't eat these. Um, they're kind of expensive, but they last. Obviously, this tub lasts forever. Um, let's see if I can open this. One's brand new, I just got it. Of course, I have them on deck, but. All right, sorry, I got it open. Um, I just kinda wanna show you guys what they look like. So they're hard to break up. They're come in, they come in different sizes in this tub though. So as you can see, there's different sizes. You can break some of them up, but like the big ones that are kind of hard. Um, they smell interesting to say the least, but they're not that bad. Dogs love them. I highly recommend these as training treats. Um, amazing. And, not, and natural, and what do you know, they're made in the USA. So yeah, I think that is it. Kenji heard me open the treats. <laughs> she came running. You want one? Let's see if we can get her to jump up here. Come on, come on. There we go, Kenji. Do you love this? Mm-hmm, they love it. <laughs> so anyways, guys, that was my Amazon favorites. Let me know if you want to do a part two. I could probably do a part 10. I get so much stuff off of Amazon since I live in the country. Um, so yeah, let me know. And I can even do um, Amazon favorites that aren't pet related if you guys want me to. So let me know in the comments down below what you want. And me and Kenji, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.